Welcome to Fanny Magnet and in this video I'll explain you how you can create a bootable Windows 7 flash drive for Mac using a bootcamp and this flash drive can be used to install Windows based operating system in your Mac. So the first you need 8 GB of a flash drive as you can see here. The very first step you have to do you have to format this flash drive in the Mac format. So first you have to go to spotlight and type disk utility and here you will see that I have this 8 GB of flash drives. So first we will go and erase this flash drive using a Mac format. So as you can see that the format you have to select is OS 10 extended journal and click on erase it will take a little while you will see that this drive will be disappear for some time and it will come back once the formatting is done so meanwhile we will take a quick look on what are the other things we need we need Windows 7 or Windows operating system ISO so as I'm using Windows 7 ISO so here is the setup ISO file for Windows 7 okay I think we are done click on done and you can close this disk utility once you are done with that go to spotlight again and type boot camp assistance and click ok you will get this first page then click on next and it will there will be three options create a windows 7 or later version install this so click on that and click continue now we have to link here with the ISO file which we have so I have the ISO file on the desktop so go to desktop and select that particular file here we go and click on open and then click on continue so you need to make sure that uh, you do not have anything in the drive because that will get erased completely so click continue then and it is making it ready for windows 7 bootable flash drive for mac operating system so the process is similar to what we do for others but just little bit of difference so let's wait now This process uh, normally take 30 to 45 minutes so completely depend on the performance of the computer and the flash drive. Alright so here as you can see that the flash drive has been completed so now the second step is that you need to download a bootcamp. I already have a bootcamp here but you can download from this website. The link is in below description and while downloading the bootcamp you just need to read this particular article the link is again in the below description because when you are downloading a bootcamp you need to make sure which 
mid version of your MacBook you have because it's completely depend if you are using a Pro you have a which is made in 2010 then you have a you have to go with a different version of boot camp and if you're using 2015 or 2016 there is a different version of boot camp you need to download so you need to go to go with this particular article as I'm using 2015 version I have to download this boot camp which is 5.1.5640 so I already have the downloaded here on the desktop so let's open it all right here we go so the only step you have to do right now is copy this you just have to copy these three folders and drag it into or just paste into your flash drive and once you do that the work is done so if you like the video please give me a thumbs up if you have any doubt if you have any query you can comment down below and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you and you have a wonderful day